What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, this one got me a little upset. Uh, it, you know, it's crazy how people think that certain things that they do are paying homage when, in fact, certain things that they're doing are really um, being disrespectful or really showing uh, ignorance. And in this particular case, we have a situation where um, people or pictures surface where people have placed um, codeine bottles and bunch of lighters and beer bottles and things of that nature on the headstone of the late great DJ Screw. Now, one of the things that I never have liked about Houston culture has been the glorification of the drink and the lean and all that. That's always been something that has been glorified and has been made to be a part of the hip hop culture in the city. And some people would argue, well it is, I mean, that's what it is. You know, that's what a lot of people did or still do and so so it is and and we'll agree to disagree on that because that's a lifestyle and a habit that a lot of people may have had or have or still may have in, in this day and time. But to me, it's not reflective of hip hop culture in the city of Houston at its root and at its foundation. That's not what you want to be and what we want to be known for or remembered for. And the glorification of it has unfortunately propelled that stuff to a level where people look at it like, that's Houston. Yeah, they sip drink. They, they you know, they, they sip lean. That's what, that's what they do down there. You know, it's like, and it's unfortunate. So... Now you see these pictures of them putting that stuff around Screw's grave. Now a man who died at a very young age and people will say, well, that's how he died. And, and that's, a, you know, I'm, look, I, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But even if it was, you know, I ain't naive, even if it was, we should not be dwelling on the part of a person's life that may not have been the most favorable aspect of his life. We should be dwelling on the legacy that he left in terms of being an innovator in the music industry and creating a whole new style of music that the whole world gravitated towards and still does to this day. Those should be the things that we look at. We should be gravitating towards um, the movement that he created, all of the great artists that came under him that we know and love today because he provided a place for them to express themselves and to get known the way that they got known through his mixes and through the distribution, the single-handed distribution of his own mixtapes. That should be the things that we remember him for. And the fan base of all people should have enough understanding, enough intelligence to know not to desecrate the grave of this great brother by putting drink bottles and beer bottles and lighters and stuff all around his headstone. My question is, you know, where the groundskeeper at? 
when all this stuff is happening because this, this is the type of thing that should never even be laid out. It shouldn't even last a minute without the groundskeeper coming along and saying, hey man, you know, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't lay that out like that. It's not respectful. It's not something that you are honoring him by doing. And even somebody who's still around. See, I, I, I've had people who, when you know, when people don't know you, but they think they know you or they, they think they know what you're into because of what you do for a living, you know, um, I've had people like, hey, man, come on, come on, man. I got everything you want to smoke, man. You smoke with me all day, man. I got you, I got you. Come on, man, I get you high. You know, come on, man, get you drunk. And they don't even know I don't do all that. But they just assume that that's what, that's what gets you going. Or they look at it as a means to get in the door, to get cool with you through those means. Not through the means of, hey man, let me get to know this person and let me come at it from a business angle or from just a, a, a just a straight up, a real angle. It's always, let me get you high, let me get you drunk. They think that that's what the answer is. You know, and that may work in some cases for some artists. But when people come at you like that, you got to line them up real quick because you, you got to understand that they don't respect you when they come at you like that. Or they, they, they look at you, they don't think you got sense. They don't come at me like that. I don't, I don't do that. And even if I did, don't come at me like that. Because if I did, I like to believe I would be able to get my own dope or my own alcohol if that was what I was into. But people, that's how, that's how they move. And we also have to protect our brother's name for the reasons I said earlier, because we want to dwell on the great things that he did. The media always and is always ready and prepared to pounce on the negative side or the, the, the flaws that an individual may have or had when they were alive. The media is quick to pounce on that and, and push that and push that and push that narrative. So that's, that's what they do. Screw love music first and foremost. That was his love. That was his love. Because if it wasn't, he wouldn't be able, he wouldn't have been able to accomplish what he what he accomplished. So his first love was music. And he and he he lived that. And he created the culture that he created was bigger than any uh silly uh, vice or habit that he may have had or anyone else may have had or had. So we got to stand up on behalf of Screw to not let stuff like this happen. Y'all see the picture. Y'all To not let stuff like this happen. And whoever did it, you know, and it may be an accumulation of people because all it takes is for one person to just put one thing down and somebody else said, oh, somebody put a, a beer bottle. You can put a drink bottle down there. And put these lighters out here, you know. That's not what Screw would want. Just respectfully assuming. I want that around your headstone, man. It's a, it's a low vibrating level of thinking that even thinks that that's okay to do. To think that you're paying homage to somebody by doing that. That's not our culture. We got to check this type of stuff on site immediately when we see it, man, and make sure that, because it could be you, it could be anybody, man. You know, we don't dwell on the negative side of our people. Uh, we try to dwell on the true greatness and the positive things that they did. So y'all leave y'all comments below. Um, 
I could go deep into this, but I'm going to leave it where it's at. Leave your comments below, and uh, peace.